Welcome to vlog number 7. I picked up a free computer today. I found the system on tweakers.net. It was a free pickup in Amsterdam. So let's see what we have. We have a nice uh, big tower with a door for the drive base. A Plextor 40 speed CD-ROM player, a Plextor burner, a floppy drive and a tape streamer. This machine is a server and here we have the Windows 2000 server license. On the back we have two power supplies, both are 300 watt and redundant, a graphics card, two network cards, a SCSI card, a sound card, an ISDN modem and a USB uh, headers. Let's open the case. Here we have the power supply, the system has two CPUs, four memory sticks, it's full of expansion cards, full of SCSI cables. Here we have an, uh, a SCSI hard drive, it's a uh, 15,000 RPM uh, drive. The case is very nice. We have here a room for a floppy drive, five, five and a quart inch drives, six hard drives, and there's two spots for extra fans, one in the back and one in the front. So let's see if the machine will boot. The system is a Dual 733 megahertz Pentium 3. The system has uh, 1 gigabyte of memory and the hard drive is a 73 gigabyte uh, Atlas 15K. The system is working but the hard drive is empty and wiped. There is some dust in the system so I can uh, pull out all the expansion cards and cables and clean the system up. The power supply modules are just consumer power supplies with a special backplane and connectors. The SCSI card is an Adaptec 2960. It's a single channel card and the person who built the system made a mistake with SCSI cabling. If you use this card you can only use two of the three connectors. So or this two, or this two, or this two, but not all three like the configuration was. If you want to use three SCSI cables in the system you need another card, the 13960 because that is dual channel. The system is taken apart now and I will use my air compressor to clean all the parts and will be back if everything is clean and then I will show all the parts uh, we have. We are a week further now, I didn't have time to work on the vlog but the system is clean so let's check out the parts. First the drives, we have a Sony floppy drive and we have a very fast Maxtro Atlas 15K 73GB Ultra 320 SCSI hard drive with a 68 pin uh, SCSI connector. We have uh, two great Plexor drives, a 40 speed Plexor CD ROM player and a 12 speed CD burner. Both 50 pin SCSI and we have a 50 gigabyte on stream SCSI tape streamer. The system came full of expansion cards. We have a Matrox G100 4 megabyte HP video card. An Adaptec 2960 SCSI controller, a Diva ESTN server card, a Sunblaster 128, a normal desktop 3Com NIC, and a server 3Com NIC. The system came with extra fans and three nice SCSI cables, including terminators. 
I really like this big tower with uh, lots of drive base, the dual power supply and the removable hard drive tray. In the motherboard there are four sticks of Kingston memory, each stick is 256 megabyte. The coolers are pretty small, the Pentium uh, 3733 doesn't need a lot of cooling. The motherboard is the Asus Cuff 4XD. The D stands for dual socket. There's also a version the DLS with the SCSI on board and a network card. Like this one. Here you can see the LSE SCSI controller and here's an Intel 100 Mbit NIC. My idea is to swap out the motherboards and use the DLS version in the big tower. On this board there are Pentium 3000 MHz installed and two sticks of memory. The board has SD RAM and two GB of memory in two sticks. This is Samsung Server EC registered memory. These simple little coolers are not enough for the Pentium 3000 MHz so I gonna change them for the stock Intel coolers. The motherboard replacement is successful and the system came with many great parts. Maybe I gonna do a future build in this system with this motherboard and I gonna use the parts in different builds. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.